be a movement to here and uh, keeping that arm straight you see the top hand you bring it back like that no no but it's you, i can see you're doing it now but trying to do you see how the trunk rotation is more over this way you are twisting it round, and and then if you watch the slalom paddlers that's what they do a lot of the time it's bring this paddle right over here and twisting the body and there's sort of this what called in canoeing it was called stacking it it's stuck in the paddle and bringing it back like that and bringing it out at the hip right so that, that's that's something to uh, work at it doesn't just come like that but it, it's it's that right okay uh, Usually, the power, the power of the, the, the paddle itself. When I talk about stacking, this top, this is hey the stacking, the pulling of the paddle back is the is the bottom hand. It's the power on the bottom hand here that's pulling it back. Because look, I've hardly got my hand on here. So it's just keeping him. The power is coming from the bottom. I think it, it's, it, 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 it could be right in that, but I find that quite often you're pulling in there, but more, the, the, more of it is, although you're pushing down a bit, it's to pull in back like that as well. There's more pressure on where you're pushing that forward and leaving it back. That's what I find. I may be wrong in that. Yeah, yeah. But if you're pushing more of the power here, it's stuck in the paddle then. It's called, uh, the, it's in canoe, it's stuck in the paddle. Because, yeah, in, in stacking the paddle, in an open canoe, you are pressing from the top there. But at the same time, it's important with this arm keeping it straight and pushing it down. So it's in liaison with each other, really. Yeah. Well, it, it, they call it stacking, where you're pressing down on the top paddle, but in a, a kayak, in a, a paddle on the kayak thing, you, you pull it, you're pulling it down like that. I think more pressure on the bottom hand, but it's just where he's keeping that straight there. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, we've learned quite a lot, really, quite quickly there. Uh, right, what I want you to do is to do it backwards now, the same principle. In a straight line backwards. Right, okay, if you turn yourself round. Right. See, I, I have to wear glasses to drive, you see. Where, in this situation, I'm okay. But the same principle is that you start from your hip and then pull forward. And as you're pulling forward, you, every so what you're looking here with the... Um, oh God, I've gone, gone blank now. Um, with your feet as well, it's uh, edging at it. Because you're coming down here slowly like that, you're slightly moving it over here like that so you're keeping your trunk rotation in the same movement but slow it down yeah yeah just slow it down it's all about you know if you're on the river at times you're using the speed of the water to get you anywhere rather than powering there so and also slowing it down it means that you've got more time to think about it yeah so just think about it, just get, use the same principles, edging and like that. Draw yourself in a bit, that's it.
That's much better, isn't it? Can you see the similarities? When, I mean, I can appreciate the fact that looking out, outside here is difficult, but it said, if you go like that and then moving the body over like this, it's the natural swing of it that, that um, you get a feel of it. Um, there's two more parts of um, the fundamentals. Posture. Right, so it's posture. Right. Okay. If um, you haven't been on white water, have you? Where did you go? Right. And through through some rapids. Right. Okay. What position? No, it doesn't matter. What position did you put yourself in? Do you up like this, leaning back, or leaning forward if you were going through rapids? Um, yeah, well, that's understandable because it's a new experience. Right, if you describe a rapid, it's like a sea, isn't it? It goes up and down, isn't it? So if you're going up like that, are you leaning back or forward? Or, as you go over the top and go down, leaning back or forward? Well, if you're coming back in and leaning too far backwards, what's, what's the, how's the wave going? Is it going like that? It's curving, isn't it? So if you're leaning back, what's going to happen to your boat? Yeah. So, so when you, you're riding the wave, you, you tend to be like this, aren't you? And then when you're going over and into the dip, you're leaning forward. Do you know the reason why you lean forward? Yeah, stability. So if you're boofing, do you understand boofing? If, it, if this is a ledge of a rock, you use the sight you lean yourself up to lift the boat at the front to go over. Or, if you're going upstream, you can lean back because you're trying to lean the front of the boat. In sailing, it's called trim. The uh, five, uh, four essentials of sailing, if I can learn that all. Trim. So you're, you're trimming your body to uh, the shape of the water to create either stability or to assist you over a wave. Because when you're riding a wave, you're going over and then you're dipping yourself down to go into the wave and then out again. Yeah, same principle. You, c you can transfer these ideas or these techniques from a canoe to a kayak and to a surfboard or a surfboard, stand-up board. It's the same principles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, and the final one is called uh, feel. So the feel is linked in linking it to the boat, linking it to the body, and linking it to the blade, they call it, the three Bs. So it's your paddle. Right. Do you know how what trick I've got to help you to understand uh, feel? Right. Okay. Turn yourself round. See where uh, James, I keep calling him Trevor, don't know why. I've got this fixation in my head. I can't get off the fact there's a Trevor and there's a James. <laughs> right, I'm going to go back down here. You're going to close your eyes and everything you've learnt tonight, you're going to put into practice with panel blind. Uh, and I'll, we'll see how it goes. So, are you going to try and paddle? The aim is to paddle in a straight line. I'll tell you when to go. Go. All right, stop. Right. So panel back up there. Remember about keeping your lower arm straight, slow it down and feel your way with your other senses. Get yourself lined up first on the line. That's it. Once you're lined up then when you feel ready go. better isn't it? Right, so what was different from the first one? What did you do differently from the first time? What did you do with your paddle? Do anything with your paddle that you were feeling with? Alright, right, go back again and have another go about that. You're paddling your feet, that's the secret, and your knees. It's connectivity, that's what it's about. So wasn't it? So what was different there? Yeah. 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 So you're using the pressure of your feet on oh, the connectivity. You're doing a shorter stroke on your paddle because of the bigger the movement of the paddle, you're going to get it moving all over the place. So ultimately when you're paddling, all of these things come into play. You know, your connectivity, your, your power transfer, your posture, your uh, link to your trim, um, link to your feel, you're feeling the boat, you're feeling the paddle. 
you feel how your body interacts with all of these things. Yeah, but the boat is not fitted, you haven't fitted yourself up. But in saying that, you see, you've learnt another thing, haven't you? You've realised the importance of that connectivity and having your boat set up properly that you feel connected to the boat, isn't it? And it's only from this, possibly this experience, it's, it's probably meant more to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we'll leave it at that. So, 